describes a partnership between the hospital and the university here to deliver uh, translational research. Many of the staff that you see around the hospital are obviously involved directly in patient care, but many of them are also here uh, helping support the different research programs which the BRC is underpinning. So the BRC funding is absolutely essential because what we really want to do is take discoveries that are coming out of the fancy, complex, interesting science, but make them available to patients. There's no single building that you can point to that say, says that's the Cambridge BRC building. Is a sort of virtual concept which underpins research infrastructure across the Cambridge Biomedical Campus. We're already seeing the benefits of that research and actually ongoing funding will allow us to do even more and tackle some of the big diseases of our time. Adam Rooks is a fantastic place to do research for a number of key reasons, but most importantly, it brings together a world-class hospital next to other world-class hospitals like the Royal Papworth Hospital and the Rosie Hospital, our colleagues in mental health, together with a world-class university. The BRC has a unique feature in the UK because of its particular prominence and significance to the life cycle of research. Without it, it's very difficult to move from scientific discovery through to something that can be tested in larger studies. I think it's also unique because of the community it's, it's creating and the values that, that drive it and its ability to kind of create excitement almost where you might not expect it. Within the BRC, there are so many individuals with expertise that we can draw on. And then there are the links with the, the broader university to really maximise the gain from our research. So it's really this coming together of this expertise and the pooling of thoughts and ideas about how we can deliver uh, translational science for the benefits of our patients. What makes Addenbrooke's a unique place to work, it's people. And by its people, we have fantastic patient groups. We have amazing research nurses who will recruit these patients. So many helpful doctors on board. So many clinician scientists who actually on top of their medical expertise, they bring expertise from different aspects of science. And they help us bounce ideas off each other and come up with solutions. I'm a really strong believer that research should just be part of routine patient care. All patients should know about research opportunities. So actually being here on campus and seeing patients in, in the outpatient clinic means that we can just make it widely available. So I think today's research shapes tomorrow's care. A lot of this research cannot take place without patients, especially the clinical trials. I think also it allows patients to have a say in shaping their future care. We're keen to make it as easy as possible for people to participate in research, not just people with illnesses, but actually uh, people who are healthy. And there are a whole variety of different ways that people can then engage with the research activities. Having diverse voices helping shape the research agenda is absolutely key. And those diverse voices need to come from across the communities we serve. Within the Biomedical Research Centre itself, we have a programme of what's called PPIE, or Patient and Public Involvement and Engagement. We're always looking out for patients from diverse backgrounds to come and uh, input their ideas to help us shape our overall research programmes by working together in partnership with our patients and the public that we can really make progress towards improved outcomes in healthcare across the range of different uh, healthcare conditions and illnesses for people not just here in Cambridge but across the country and around the world. <laughs>